Busby's stoop chair is notorious for being an extremely cursed object, uh, one that many fear. The legend goes that everybody who sat on it um, has died. The chair uh, originally belonged to Th one Thomas Busby. He lived in uh, North Yorkshire in the 1600s. He was a thief, a drunkard, a uh, chair owner, and an innkeeper. One night, his father-in-law, Audie, was not very fond of his, uh, his trunk tensions. So, he went to their house, and he tried to take his daughter away. Busby didn't like that that much. He confronted Audie, and they had a little arguments. And whenever Busby confronted him, uh, guess where Audie was sitting? So, this of course made uh, Buzzfeed very angry. So he threw Audie out of the house. And due to this anger and the tensions that built, he decided, you know what? I care about my chair so much that I'm just gonna kill him. He followed, he followed Audie out that night and he bludgeoned him to death with a hammer all over a chair. After the grisly murder, uh, Busby tried to hide the body in the woods uh, nearby, which failed because there was a local search and they ended up finding him. In the summer of 1702, uh, Busby was tried and uh, he was sentenced to death for the murder of his father-in-law. He was gibbeted, which is a form of hanging. Uh, there should be a, a little picture up on screen to show what that's like. Um, and then he was tarred and hung outside of his inn so at least he was in a place where he felt comfortable i guess after busby was hanged his inn was renamed to the busby stoop inn anyway this is this is where the legend comes in the legend states that busby before his death cursed his favorite chair so that nobody else can sit in it and his spirit is said to be tied in with the chair um so without further ado uh let's get to the interesting part on one evening uh, in 1894 there was a chimney sweep and his friend who uh, just finished up a long night's work and they wanted to go just sit down have a nice drink and wouldn't you guess where the chimney sweep decided to sit after he sat in the cursed chair, um, he was pretty intoxicated, and he decided to go out in the road, um, you know, as you do in good old 1894, and uh, he took a little nap. In the morning, they found his body uh, hung up to a little pole next to the inn. The death was initially ruled out as a suicide, uh, but in 1914, on the friend's deathbed, the friend admitted to uh, robbing him and killing him. So, th kind of a downer. Years later, during World War II, the Busby Stoop Inn became a hot spot for RCAF airmen uh, to hang out and drink. Now, while at the bar, they would often challenge their fellow pilots to uh, sit in the cursed chair. Once you know it, that many that took up the challenge never made it home from their missions. This would take us to 1968, where Tony Earnshaw took ownership of the pub. During the 1970s, there seemed to be many deaths involving the chair. One such is a cleaning lady, who uh, after bumping her head with the chair was diagnosed with a brain tumor. There were a number of people on motorcycles, who uh, suffered fatal crashes after sitting on it. There was also a local man, who had a heart attack shortly after sitting on the chair. Another story goes that one night, a group of builders uh, decided to just hang out at the pub. They knew about this legend and challenged one of the youngest people on the team to uh, go go sit on the chair. Now, back at the site, um, unfortunately, the young man fell through the roof of the building that they were building and landed on the concrete ground below. Um, this death, after hearing about it, uh, of course, didn't hit the owner Earnshaw very well, and he finally retired the chair uh, and banished it to his cellar. A delivery man, uh, bringing things to the pub, decided one day to <laughs> sit on the chair 
uh, whatever was in the, uh, in the cellar. He told Earnshaw, This chair is too comfortable to be left down here. And on the, on the ride home in his van, he swerved off the road and died in the fatal crash. This proved to be Earnshaw's last straw, and though a popular tourist attraction, he decided it was too dangerous to have lying around. So he donated it to the Thirsk Museum in 1978, where it still is today. In the end, the legend of Busby Stoop Chair uh, its an interesting one, isn't it? it? There are many deaths supposedly tied to it. I won't sit here and say that all of them are true, but I do think it's an interesting tale. If I ever get the chance, I would love to visit the museum and see it one day. What is interesting about the story is the fact that report, like, the estimate of all the deaths is over 60, which is very, very uncommon for a cursed item. The chair is still in the Thirst Museum, and nobody sat in it for over 30 years. So, my question to you is would you sit in the chair if given the chance? Because, who knows? Maybe they'll take it down one day, just to, just to see what happens. <laughs>